name is Hui Zixu, a PhD student in the Department of Oncology at National Yang University in Taiwan. It's my honor to share with you this review article about the role of PIPA gamma in the hepatocellular carcinoma. Liver cancer is the second leading cause of male cancer death in the world. Hepatocellular carcinoma is the major subtype among liver cancers. HPV and HCV infections, aflatoxin B1 exposure, excessive alcohol consumption, obesity, diabetes, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease are the major risk factors for HCC development. The key role of this article, PIPA gamma, is a ligand-activated nuclear receptor, which is composed of four different domains. The N-terminal AB domain contains activation function 1, which is responsible for ligand-independent transactivation through phosphorylation. This phosphorylation decreased transcriptional activity of PIPA gamma by NAPK and AMPK to repress ligand-dependent effects. DNA binding domain contains two zinc fingers, and hinge domain allows independent movement of the next and last domains. C-terminal ligand binding domain contains activation function 2, which is responsible for ligand-dependent transactivation and necessary for the heterodimerization to recruit coadjuvators and co-repressors. PIPA gamma can be activated by the natural ligands, such as 15 deoxy prostaglandin J2, or synthetic ligands, such as thiazolidine diones. In an activation state, once ligand binding occurred, PIPA gamma heterodimerizes with retinoid X receptor, and this complex recruits coactivators which have histone acetylase activity to promote the transcription for target genes related to lipid and glucose metabolisms, as well as inflammation. Conversely, in an inactivation state, PIPA gamma interacts with the co-repressor in the absence of ligands, and this complex has histone deacetylase activity to suppress transcription. More in vitro and in vivo evidence has demonstrated that activation of PIPA gamma triggers apoptosis, inhibition of cell growth, and metastasis in hepatocellular carcinoma. Apoptosis is induced through intrinsic or extrinsic pathways. Cell growth inhibition is induced by increased levels of cell cycle arrest related proteins such as P21 and P27, or decreased levels of cell cycle promotion related proteins such as cyclin D1. Inhibition of metastasis is induced through upregulation of PI1, TIMP3, and ECAHE ring or downregulation of NMP2, 9, 13, and HPSE. A better understanding of the molecular regulation on anti-cancer effects in PIPA gamma-mediated signaling may contribute to the development of novel combination therapy for future treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma.